If you thought you were having a bad day, at least you're not this guy. Misses the ball, and he loses the drink. And he spills it on his wife. Hopefully that's your wife and not a girlfriend on a first date. <laughs> Embarrassing, man. You didn't even catch the ball. Did you get the ball? Did it drop on the ground? Did you, were you at least able to pick it up? Tough, tough, tough break. Your week could be worse. You could be this guy. Happy Thursday. Welcome to his education and welcome to another episode of Try Not to Laugh. Guys, okay, we're going to jump right into this one. If you accept the terms of today's game, you laugh, you watch Sunday where you do your punishment. Head down and like this video. And if you are new here, please make sure you are subscribed and have the bell clicked for notifications when new videos are uploaded. Now on to today's game. Try not to laugh. Go. One of the construction guys hit himself in the gonads with a cord. Oh, no. Now you're having a bad day. <laughs> At least you're not that guy. Owie. Oh, dude. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> it's on the ring doorbell, too. Oh. It's okay, bro. It's okay. It's it's like a brain freeze. You know, it hits you, and oh, you just got to hang on until the pain goes away. Boys, you know what I'm talking about. Point of view, your wife is trying to starve you. I take you you're not cooking dinner tonight. <laughs> Look at her face. She's just disgusted. You guys, oh, that's so, you can't make those jokes. I love those people. Shut up. That's a funny joke. Did I use my degree right? Christian Academy, high honors, 3.85 GPA, most outstanding student award. Let's see. Bachelor in theology, master in divinity, bartender. Mm. Are you making money elsewhere with that degree? It sounds like a, an interesting degree path. Does it, it, did it cost a lot of money? Is that return? Clearly not. <laughs> Clearly not. That's uh, a lot of degrees, by the way. I'm just going to throw that out there. A lot of degrees end you up serving at a restaurant. And there's nothing wrong with serving at a restaurant, truly. But you don't need a degree to do that. So why don't you just go do that first? I mean, that only that makes sense, right? You can, you can make a decent amount of money at the right bar. Joe Biden. What are you doing? I'm burying you. Oh, <laughs> oh, You're waking the neighbors. No. Shut up. No. <laughs> Now I'm gonna play your drums. <laughs> that's so perfect. Let the dirt just shower over you. Oh, that's so perfect. We just went over this. Dude, that guy's not in a good spot. He probably should not be the president right now. And Colin just swooped in there, took over without a vote. Democracy, right? <laughs> she just you just got the nominee when no one voted for it. It's hilarious. Me on the verge of burnout at work. Yeah, everyone says I, I look like I'm having fun, so that's good because I feel like most of the time if I'm not stressing or have anxiety, I do feel like I'm having fun. <laughs> yeah. If you're on the, the verge of burnout, hopefully you're here watching the memes. Share the memes, spread the memes. If you're burnt out, you got memes. That's your that's your prescription. Weekly memes. Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday. Top five hottest things you can say to a woman. Number one. These are the draft boards for all my fantasy football leagues. I keep them out in my garage and they go all the way back to 2017. Number two. This is our fantasy football trophy from last year and I am your champion. Number three. You have to see my George Kittle fatheads poster. Look at that. I got Kittle, I got Bosa, <laughs> and of course Debo and McCaffrey. Number four. These are super fun. We got these hologram cards from Piggy Banks. We got Purdy. We got a retro 40. Niner, another pretty, but my favorite is the Dak Prescott clown. Oh, that's sweet. The best Look part is I got this right <laughs> after they got smoked in the wild card round. Number five. I invented these silicone beer can covers. They're awesome. You just put it right over the top of the can. You give it a little squeeze and none of your neighbors know that you're drinking a beer while you mow the lawn. Hope this helps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ladies love it. Brag about your fantasy teams, boys. And girls, I know some of you guys play fantasy. It's that time of year. It's that time of year. Dave and I are on the same page with this for fantasy. I used to be in like three leagues. Last year, two. This year, only one. Next year, probably zero. I, I just, it's, I don't know. I'm falling out of it. I am. Non-binary in Italian. How to say non-binary in Italian? Non-binary, it's translated in Italian with non-binario or non-binaria. 
according with the gender of the subject. <laughs> I'm confused. It's a, it's a bigoted language. Same with Spanish. Yeah, it's it's a it's a binary language. It's it's so mean. No sotros, right? Am I right? Espanole. <laughs> I always think it's funny looking at the names of the different body washes for men and women. Anarchy. What? Silk and Magnolia. Dragon Blast. <laughs> Lustrous Glow. Kraken Guard. Kraken Guard. What the hell? Uh, Dragon Blast. I actually want to kind of go buy that. That's pretty badass. See, this is what they do. They market to men. That's badass. I want that. Women, they want that. That's Silk Magnolia. Right? Am I right? An Olympian makes one tiny mistake. Me and my couch stuff in my face. <laughs> Man, <laughs> you are one pathetic loser. <laughs> no offense, but yeah, uh, this is my favorite favorite version of this meme. A lot of the, a lot of versions of this meme, but this is the best one for sure. One of my favorite movies of all time. I think I've said that a thousand times. Random thought: If they don't teach cursive to the new generation in school, what is their signature like? Like, do they print? Because they don't know how to write in cursive. Like, I. Is there an answer to that? I literally just asked this question to someone that's in high school now. And they said that they had to learn by themselves how to do a signature. It took them a long time to do it. Yeah, well, really, honestly, let's be honest. A signature is not necessarily cursive. Some people's signatures are just junk. <laughs> you know, you don't have to print it, but you just a couple squiggly lines. Like, you can make it up. It doesn't have to resemble a cursive letter at all. Okay, is it okay if I touch it? Yeah. Okay, cool. And what are your pronouns? They, them. She, they. I'm yes. glad we exchanged those. Yes. Okay. You guys ever think that we're dead? Because this makes me feel like maybe we're all, we're, maybe we're in hell and we're all dead. <laughs> uh, maybe. Maybe it's like an episode of Lost, right? Spoiler alert. Everyone's actually dead. You know, and they're in purgatory. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe we're all being tested right now. Crazy thought. Throwback when breathing freely made you public enemy number one. Sir, we have a strict mask policy. My grandma's gonna die because of you. You're selfish. Put a mask on. We're gonna call the police. Where the hell is your mask? I'm gonna get my dog sick. <laughs> Dude, I love it. Oh, I'll never forget. Some great memories walking through the grocery store without a mask. And the manager said, well, hey, could I get you a mask? Nope, I'm almost done. <laughs> Even in the airport, I'm always uh, looking for a new podcast to try. Is this, what's the code? <laughs> is that David Spade? <laughs> that is David Spade. One of my all-time favorite comedians. Me every two weeks. What's going on, guys? Today, I got paid. And I'm going to be emptying my bank account as fast as humanly possible. Instead of taking the long way by gambling, I'm actually going to be doing the short way by surviving in today's highly inflated economy. Wish me good luck, guys. <laughs> good luck. Good luck, buddy. It's, uh, yeah, it's still tough out there. Oh, it's, inflation's going down, but it's still increasing on top of the entire increase that we've had over the last four years. It's not good. It's still going up. What is going lower? It's not going lower. Prices are not going lower. A lot of idiots out there that don't understand. So I had to, you know. You want to see how to make a Cybertruck owner jealous with some 1996 technology? Oh no, I'm running out of fuel. Nice. Never mind. Nice. Take, take that, take. liberal. Hell yeah, <laughs> take that, liberal. Dude, uh, uh, while we're on this, we make fun of like a lot of truck owners here. Fords get a brunt end of it. I'm a Ford owner. If you own a Ford, you know they're not the best trucks, sadly, at least in today's world, the newer ones. Uh, Chevys, we made fun of Chevys. Uh, we make fun of cyber trucks. We make fun of all trucks. No trucks are safe. But the only people who get butt hurt, who get offended and cry about it, are the cyber truck owners. They're the only ones I've ever seen that get upset. It's like, okay, I mean, <laughs> the, 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 the irony, right? So, uh, if your truck gets made fun of, relax, okay? Take a joke. Me telling my wife there's now football on every week until Valentine's Day 2025. What? How about that? Isn't that you amazing? Joke? How about that? <laughs> That's good, huh? It's not good for me. Oh, it is good. 
That's why hopefully she's into football as well, right? She's uh, If she loves football, you got a winner. What's the difference What's between good? a Vietnamese restaurant and an Indian restaurant? One is for profit. The other is non-profit. See what he did there? <laughs> Which is your least favorite race? Which is your I least favorite here. race? Yeah. I know. I don't have one. That's no? mean. That's mean. Yeah. Why, folks? Me, personally, I hate marathons. Damn, I'm racing this. <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. That's that's messed up, dude. But, yeah. Marathons, tough. Tough races. Hate those races. <laughs> I'd go home and call it a day. <laughs> So I can still save it. Uh, I saved it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sign, dude. Stop drinking that crap. It's a milkshake. It's a hot milkshake. Nasty, dude. My blue collar boyfriend alarm routine. So when the first alarm goes off, yeah. I turn off the 350 and 355 AM alarm. Because mm -hmm. those are my backups. Yeah. And then I get out of bed at four. Mm -hmm. Then when I get out of bed at four, I turn off the 405, the 415, and the 420 alarm because those are my three backups. And then I, I leave, yeah. and then at 425 a.m., that's my leave the house alarm. Then when I leave the house, I turn off the 430, the 445, the 5, the 515, the 525, and the 530 a.m. alarm because those are my backups Jeez. to my backups. Mm -hmm. And then... Okay. Uh, to leave the at house. 5.45 a.m., that's my get out of my car at work alarm. <laughs> <laughs> and then when I get out of my car at work, I turn off the 6, the 6.15, and the 6.25 a.m. alarm. Mm -hmm. That way I know I'm not late. What time do you start work? 6.30. Wow. That Dude, that's... I feel like that's too much, man. You could get so much extra sleep if you just set two alarms within five minutes of each other, got out of bed drove to work, didn't sit in your car, you get another hour of sleep, man. Whatever, man. Whatever you want to do. That's that's an early day. I love Venn diagrams. <laughs> I really do. I love Venn diagrams. It's just something about those three circles and the analysis about where there is the intersection, right? Yeah, I see people like, you, you agree, you agree with me, right? right? So, so, okay, so, so I, I asked, asked my team, team I, I brought, I brought props. props. Ah, uh, can't make it up. They just, that they picked her. They they didn't even vote on her. I, I said it earlier. That's who they're going with. <laughs> Pretty good analogy. Pretty good. Uh, she has a little more more elbow flexibility, but yeah, I just. We have occasionally clips pop up like this. I, I don't understand the, the nail thing. I just don't. I, I mean, like this extreme. This is very extreme. Wife, you must love watching memes on the toilet. Me. I love every minute of it. <laughs> Brock, Minnesota boy. We heard a sound coming from the chimney and decided to check it out. Oh, this is not going to be good. I'll tell you right, that right now. Gonna be a bat. What's gonna be? Oh, <laughs> 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 oh this dude! <laughs> Get the door open when you do that stuff, man. Look, he went straight for the door and it was closed. That's your fault. Now, how are you gonna get him out? Australia explaining how they're beating the US. Um, sorry, United States. Bronze and silver medals are actually sh and don't matter. And if you only count gold, we're ahead of you. Okay, we might not have as many gold, but if you count total medals per capita, we're actually in first. Okay, we might not be in the lead per capita, but if you sort all of the countries alphabetically, then we're basically number one. Oh yeah? Oh yeah? Well, how about this? Okay, Google, show me a list of all the Olympic medal winners, but only the ones that took place between 8.30 a.m. and 12.30 p.m. and our Virgo slash Capricorns and our blonde hair and were born in Australia. Well, would you look at that? China first, 
then Australia, <laughs> then the United States. <laughs> it's funny because Jenna Don Harry. <laughs> you know, Australia, you guys were a little annoying there for a while. You were. No offense, Australia. I know there's some of you in Perth that's that, that watch this show. Some of you in Sydney. Yeah, you, you, you pretended you were in first place. Like the, the game's just started. You won a race and you said, haha, look at us. We're, we're in first. But uh, no, you didn't win. Okay, you didn't win. It's all right. And then you had that breakdancer thing. Like, that was embarrassing. And she's claiming she's getting cyberbullied. How the hell did she make it there? They, they got to launch an investigation into that. That was embarrassing. Me puts my child in bed. One second later, my child. Ha, ah, ah, ha, I need water. Help me. I need water. Help. Every night, dude. It's a uh, water, bathroom. I want to rock in the rocking chair. Water again. Then sleep. Witnessed a once in a lifetime situation. Oh no. No, don't stand and watch him say something. Oh, geez. Oh, come on, man. That is mean. You just let two blind guys walk into each other for your own enjoyment. <laughs> it's not funny. Oh, yeah. No. Oh, yeah. No. Yeah. What do you no. think? There it is. No way. Don't is. let him in. Absolutely not. There don't no. do it. No, no, yeah. no. Go, go. Say no. No, no. No, no. No, no. What are you doing? Did he show you his Disney Express pass or something? <laughs> wow. Can't you jump blind like that? You're mm. joking. That's a joke. That is a joke. That's I'm a with these boys. Kia. That's a joke, Kia. Look at those eyes. <laughs> Dude, I love that. Build the wall. You don't let those people in. They were told the zipper a mile ago. And then they jut up in front there. All of you going from 394 to 94. You know what I'm talking about in Minneapolis? It's a nightmare every time. Shame on you. Build the wall. Don't let these people in. Don't let them in. Point of view, your toddler tells you they pooped, but you know they weren't in the bathroom. Where? Where? Where, Dwight? Seems like you already know where. And they weren't wearing a pull-up. Yeah, you know where. Mm, mm, mm pretty rare it's pretty rare now but yeah it happens what would you do if you won the lottery <laughs> open a buffet what open a buffet <laughs> open Dude. up a, a <laughs> you got your no your hands are so gross a buffet they didn't give you any they didn't give you any napkins <laughs> It's not the worst idea. You know, there's there's always a place for a buffet. I love buffets. Actually, it's been a while since I've been to one. But yeah, I guess if you won the lottery, you can do whatever you want. If that's what you want to do, do it. Point of view, you see someone you know at the grocery store. Don't do it. Bail, 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 bail. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to have that conversation. You're there to get pork chops and some barbecue sauce, and you're there to get out. Okay, you don't want to have a 20-minute conversation with someone you went to high school with 10, 15 years ago that you don't necessarily care about and want to get all the details. So yeah, I get it. I get it. My wife, three seconds after she said she didn't want anything. Mm -hmm. This is a tasty burger. <laughs> Send this. Sprite. Sprite, good. You mind if I have some of your tasty beverage Rainbow. to wash this down? Go right ahead. <laughs> this is so perfect. And then all of it. All of it. Every time. Every time. Phenomenal movie. If you've never seen Pulp Fiction, you have some homework to do. Like right after this video. Them. What's the one thing that made you question everything? What's that one thing that sparked in your brain that made you question everything? 
Why do politicians complain about college affordability, but then charge $400,000 to teach one class for two semesters? Why are there 28 vacant homes in America for every one homeless person? Why do 60% of US senators become lobbyists after retiring? Why do we keep paying into Social Security when the government tells us it will be bankrupt in a few years? Why do we need a good credit score to buy a house when the US is $35 trillion in debt, yet gets a AAA credit rating? They'll accuse the US government government of making money out of thin air? Maybe we do, but we're the US government. Why do we need to pay taxes if the government can just print money? Is that why they hate Bitcoin so much? FBI, open up! <laughs> and this is a good one. This is a good one. Uh, great questions out there. Really great questions. All right, fine, babe. I've decided if you can make me laugh, then you'll get lucky tonight. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Oh my god, you're so funny. Try that one, boys. Let me know how it goes. <laughs> Miami is different. Whoa! What the? Dude, that was like the most unathletic judo chop I've ever seen in my life. What the road rage? Okay, get the picture. That's smart. Hey, well, talk to the person next to you. They just got it on video, dude. Or chick. Jeez. Whoa! Oh, man, I thought he was going to... Wow. What is going on in Miami? Let's, I don't, let's watch this judo chop again. Oh, she threw something. Okay, that's weird. Yeah, kya. I take it back. Not the most unathletic, but pretty unathletic. That's some crypto bro that made it big. Maybe he's mad that the bull run hasn't gone as planned. When your kids are best friends and enemies. One thing about my kids, they're going to find a way to argue. Annalise is a crybaby. Amali, Amelia is a crybaby. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, kids out there, you want to troll your siblings? This is perfect. Point of view, you're about to start a Midwest goodbye. Lord, make me fast and accurate. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the Midwest goodbye. This is why I let my wife start to go around there because she's the queen of Midwest goodbyes. She'll say goodbye. Then all of a sudden there's another conversation for 20 minutes. Then say goodbye again. Then another five minute conversation. Goodbye again. And, you know, you just got to, you got to wait for her out in the car. <laughs> Guess who slept so good last night? This son of a bitch. <laughs> Not me. Baby wakes up every hour now. We call it a sleep regression. Have fun, all you new parents out there. It happens, man, every couple months. So my dad decided to check the history on my eight-year-old brother's iPad. Wait until the end. Oh, geez. So what are you looking at, Dad? I'm checking out uh, Finley's iPad search history. <laughs> so. so this is my eight-year-old brother. Lucid Dream, W2S diss track lyrics. How did, How did my... Extension die? How did Michael Jackson die? How did Elvis die? David Bowie, Arson, Club Ubisoft, Fortnite, Shadical Face. Oh, <laughs> barbecue sauce on titties. <laughs> so. <laughs> Barbecue sauce on titties. <laughs> so I'm sitting there with barbecue sauce on my titties. <laughs> Dude, that's so bad. I don't even know what's it's funny because his he's laughing at his own son's search history. It's so off the wall. Parents out there. Know what your kids are searching. Look up their search history. <laughs> oh, could be worse. <laughs> How'd you do in today's video? Did you laugh at all? Because if you did, you lose. All that means is you have to watch on Sunday, where if you laugh, you lose, you do a punishment. 
Let me know how you did down in the comments. While you're down there, please like this video. Please help us get it recommended to others. That's it for today's video. Until next time, I'm Tyler Zed. This is education. Tick, tack, toe. A winner. Idiots. <laughs>